Hello class. Uh, the purpose of today's video is to talk about some items that are left out of gross domestic product GDP. This is an area that sometimes gives people a little trouble. Um, so you want to keep in mind that GDP is in fact the, one of the broadest measures that we have for trying to measure the overall size of the economy. And so it includes most of the things that, uh, most of the production that occurs within a given country, but it doesn't include everything. And so I've listed here on the board uh, some items that, uh, that don't show up in GDP calculations that you ought to be aware of. The principle behind this, the reason why we don't include these things in, in GDP is because we want to avoid this problem of double counting. Double counting means that an item would show up in GDP calculations twice and as a consequence, it would overstate the amount of production that's actually occurring in the economy. So you'll be able to see how this double counting would work with a lot of these. Uh, so starting with the top one here, something that we don't count in GDP are items that you describe as intermediate goods. An intermediate good is different than a final good in that intermediate goods are going to be used in the production of something else. Uh, for example, I've got here a little pen with me. Uh, made by Expo. Uh, in the production of this pen, Expo likely had to purchase all kinds of materials that they would use to, to make this pen, right? Some plastic and some ink and things like that. And so for GDP calculation purposes, we're only going to include the final purchase price of the item, which would be the, the price that uh, a consumer pays for this pen, and leave out the cost of the plastic and the ink that Expo, the pen maker, undertakes because it's thought that that purchase price, that final purchase price from the consumer um, accounts for all those intermediate products. So we don't want to count uh, these intermediate goods, uh, those items that are going to be used as a component in producing something else. Next one up here that we want to remember to not count are used goods. And the logic behind this is that these used goods have been counted uh, presumably at some point in the past. And so remember with GDP, we're trying to measure the value of everything that's produced. It'd be wrong to include the value of some item two times, right? When it's bought the first time as a new good, and then again, if it's bought in a, in a secondhand context. So we don't count used goods in GDP. We don't count so-called transfer payments. Transfer payments are just any time a person is exchanging money uh, without a corresponding exchange of a good or service. So, for example, if uh, your parents loan you some money or give you some money, that's a transfer payment. That, in fact, would be a private transfer payment. If you were to get uh, some money from the government for a variety of different reasons, um, through a bunch of different programs that we have, uh, you get some money from the government and it's not in exchange for some work that you're doing or some service that you're providing, that'd be a public transfer payment. For all of these transfer payments, there is no production involved. And as a result, we don't want to count that in GDP. All right. Financial transactions aren't counted in GDP. So these financial transactions are um, when people are buying stock uh, or buying bonds and things of this nature. Right? Again, the reason why this doesn't want to be counted, or why you don't want to count this, is because there's no new production. Right? When someone buys a share of stock, it's just the case that you're switching ownership from one person to another. When someone buys a bond from someone else, that's uh, essentially someone borrowing money from somebody else. No new production doesn't belong in GDP. Household production does not show up in gross domestic product. Where household production is the value of something that someone might produce, but not uh, turn around and sell it in a market context. So for example, later today, I plan to make some dinner for myself and my family. Uh, I might do some yard work uh, if I have to. That's all useful stuff. That's production that's occurring in the economy, but that's not going to show up in GDP because there's no market transaction. I'm not selling uh, my time to cook dinner or mow the lawn or something like this. And then finally here, underground activities don't show up in GDP calculations. And of course, these can be of the legal variety, something like, uh, I don't know, paying someone under the table um, or hiring a babysitter or something like that, or an underground economic activity. Think of drugs or 
any other sort of vice that's not going to go through formal channels. These things, for obvious reasons, don't show up in GDP calculations. Um, so there you have it. While GDP is a very broad measure of the economy, the best measure that we have for saying something about how big a given economy is, you want to be clear that there's a bunch of things that, in fact, don't show up. Uh, and here's just a small list of them.